This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Let me show you five proofs that the square root of 2 is an irrational number. Proof 1. This is the classical proof. Assume that we can write root 2 as the fraction a over b, where a and b are positive integers, and it's in lowest form, so there are no common factors. Cross multiply and square both sides to get 2b squared equals a squared. Since the left side is even, the right side must also be even, making a an even number. This means a equals 2c for some integer c. Substituting this in and simplifying produces b squared equals 2c squared. Since the right side of this new equation is even, this means that the left side is also even, and so b is even. Now we have that a and b are both even, contradicting our earlier assumption that they have no common factors. This means that we can't write root 2 as a over b, so it is irrational. Proof 2. If a and b are any two positive integers, then a squared must contain an even number of 2's as factors, while 2b squared contains an odd number of 2's. This means that a squared and 2b squared must be different, and so differ by at least 1. Now let's do some algebra with root 2 minus a over b. Multiply the top and bottom by root 2 plus a over b. Now simplify the numerator, then the whole expression. From our earlier work, we know that the numerator is greater than or equal to 1, hence we have this inequality. This expression is certainly positive, so we have shown that root 2 cannot equal a over b. This approach also gives information about how close root 2 is to any rational number. While some of you like algebraic proofs, I know that many of you prefer geometry, so let's do a couple of geometric proofs. Proof 3. The next proof realizes that if root 2 can be written as a over b in lowest form, then we can make this right isosceles triangle with sides a and b. First split the hypotenuse into two parts with links b and a minus b, then create this smaller triangle. After drawing the dashed line, note that the two yellow triangles are congruent so these sides match, and we can solve for the hypotenuse of the purple triangle. This gives us a smaller right isosceles triangle with integer sides, contradicting the earlier assumption about lowest form. Proof 4. Here's another geometric proof. Like before, assume root 2 is a over b in lowest form. Written as 2b squared equals a squared, represent this equation as one large square having the same area as two smaller identical squares. If the two smaller squares are moved inside the big square, then the overlapping area must equal the uncovered area. This means that the blue square has the same area as the two identical red squares, implying that a over b is not in lowest form. And proof 5. A continued fraction is a way to write a rational number as a combination of several fractions, and each numerator is a 1. It is known that every rational number has a unique finite continued fraction representation. Now let's start with this equation. Since root 2 plus 1 appears as both the left side and again in the denominator on the right, this means that root 2 plus 1 cannot have a finite representation, but actually goes on forever as this infinite continued fraction. So, root 2 plus 1 cannot be rational, and so root 2 itself is also irrational. If you want to see many other proofs that root 2 is irrational, go to cutthenot.org. So, which of these is your favorite proof? This video was sponsored by Brilliant. I hope you could see in this video that appreciating the beauty of mathematics is a big motivator for me. Brilliant captures this spirit in their online courses and puzzles. Their course on problem solving is filled with intriguing conundrums. But you can also learn plenty of other cool stuff with courses on logic, calculus, group theory, and much more. I've gone through some of this myself, and the part that's annoying is that I spent more time thinking about the problems than I had planned. To learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash tippingpointmath and sign up for free. And as a bonus to Tipping Point Math viewers, the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription.